We're here in Akron today, filming. You got a Dollar General, so that's how you know it's a good neighborhood. Uh, so what I love, what I think the cheat code is uh, for investing in lower income neighborhoods is the Section 8 program. Like where, where else in the U.S. of A, other than Akron, Ohio, can you get yourself Fifteen hundred bucks a month in rent for a house that's gonna cost you less than seventy k. Oh. oh no, Bujo's world died. Rip Bujo's world. Oh, rip, dude. So if you'd like to avoid changing out carpet that's got piss on it every single year, you go ahead and just refinish your hardwoods, and you don't gotta worry about swapping out that pissy piss piss carpet all the time, right? That's a pain in the butt. Who wants to do that, right? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. Section 8 is great, y'all. Give me the money, honey. Housing vouchers or s nothing rhymes with vouchers. But, like, yo, Section 8 is so sweet. And I got some so Section 8 investment opportunities for you guys today. 599 East Exchange Street, right? Akron, Ohio. Now, this sucker is a five-bedroom house, okay? Five-bedroom house priced at $69.9, folks. And the fact that it is a five-bedroom house, that is key. That's key to the whole thing here, okay? Now, you take a neighborhood like this in Akron, and, you know, it's a lower-income neighborhood. Uh, so what I love... What I think the cheat code is uh, for investing in lower income neighborhoods is the Section 8 program, right? Because the biggest thing you got to deal with in low income neighborhoods is uh, chasing tenants for rent, right? Who the hell wants to chase low income tenants around for rent all the time? You know, there's always something happening, right? Oh, my boyfriend, he got fired. Ah, oh, my car broke down. Ah, oh, grandma's sick. You know, there's always some type of excuse, right? You can eliminate all that crap, guys. You limit all that crap, you go at the Section 8 program. And then when you're on the Section 8 program, what you really want you want to get yourself some monster houses like this one a five bedroom house right you see the thing with the section eight program is the more bedroom vouchers your tenants have the more money you're gonna make right like where where else in the u.s of a other than akron ohio can you get yourself 1500 bucks a month in rent for a house that's going to cost you less than 70k now of course uh prior to placing a new section 8 tenant in there you're going to need to do a little bit of rehab right as you can see uh the particular seller they uh they're kind of like, you know, just moved out a tenant and the house is going to need a little bit of love, right? You're going to need some cosmetic love up in here. It's nothing major, really. Uh, you had some water damage that you're going to see uh, through the, the ceiling here uh, above the kitchen. Go ahead and just fix that up. It's from the bathroom on the upstairs. Uh, so you need to take care of that. Then, of course, you're going to need to do the regular cosmetic stuff, right? Go through, replace that carpet. Uh, I suggest you guys do uh, vinyl side or not vinyl siding. Vinyl siding is for the outside, not the inside you freaks i suggest you do vinyl allure uh flooring in the kitchen and the bath and if you need to do it through the whole house you can or you can go carpet totally your call although under that carpet is probably some pretty nice hardwoods when i say nice hardwoods i mean they'll look nice after you've refinished them i don't think they're gonna look nice right now or else they wouldn't be covered uh but hardwoods are really really cool in Section 8 properties, right? Because what you run into uh, in a lot of your Section 8 properties uh, is tenants, you know, they're using abuse your houses, guys. That's just the name of the game, right? So if you'd like to avoid changing out carpet that's got piss on it every single year, you go ahead and just refinish your hardwoods, and you don't got to worry about swapping out that pissy piss piss carpet all the time, right? That's a pain in the butt. Who wants to do that, right? Will the hardwoods cost you a little bit more money uh, on the initial reno than replacing your carpet? Absolutely. But long term, folks, it's about eliminating our turnover costs as much as humanly possible, right? So... I think you uh, go in there, if you're like a handy Andy or you're doing your own work, you could probably get this cosmetic rehab finished up for like 20, uh, maybe even 25K, right? And you're going to get yourself a $1,500 a month rental, folks. The numbers 
go ahead and run the numbers on that. You'll see the cash on cash return is insane. Uh, by the way, if you don't know how to run numbers on a Section 8 property in Akron, don't you worry. Uh, you just head on over to our other show here on Holton Wise TV called the MLS Search and Analysis Show. And, and we've got literally thousands of episodes where I show you guys how to break down cash on cash returns of low income properties just like this in Akron, in Cleveland, in Toledo, in Cincinnati, in Columbus, Warren, Youngstown, all of Ohio, where there is Section 8 money to be made. Holton Wise is here to teach you the way to get that money. Uh, so, with all that stated, y'all, next thing for you to do is to submit your offers to my team. Submit those to sales at holtonwise.com. Proof of funds or pre-approval letters needed uh, as far as getting a lender to sell uh, to loan you the money to buy this property, it's probably going to be tough to get this to go through uh, with a conventional lender because, like, we do have some holes uh, on the inside of the property. So that's probably going to be an issue. So maybe, like, some hard money loans might work or cash offers uh, would be best and would be preferred for this particular investment. And if you're one of those folks that wants to physically tour the property so you can put together your rehab bid, uh, tour it with your contract or something like that so you can put that together together prior to making the offer that's totally cool that's totally fine with us man just shoot us an email sales at holtonwise.com and my team will coordinate with you to get you inside of there and then after that you could submit your offer and we could get this thing rolling let's go we're here in akron today filming i got a dollar general so that's how you know it's a good neighborhood oh shit yeah. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. The ceiling's falling out. The ceiling is fucked. Minor wear and tear. Family first solutions. Bud's world. Bujo's world. Oh. Oh, no. Bujo's world died. Rip Bujo's world. <laughs> Rip, dude. Damn, dude. After five episodes, they got canceled. <laughs> Uh, that's what I like to imagine is that Bujo's World was like a reality TV show. <laughs> and they were super and, into it. And Family First Productions was like the film studio. Oh no. Not only did Bujo's World end, but Christian died. God, this house is a treasure trove of just tragedy. Free TV. Buy this house, get a free TV. Alright guys. Beautiful. See you at the next one. Fucking live, gotta go to the basement. <laughs> Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, yes! No! Oh, no! Fuck yeah, dude! Oh, no! <laughs> dude! Somebody's gonna be real mad. That one's my favorite. <laughs> Sauce! Bub's World! This is my favorite. Family First Solutions. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.